Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Prakha back from TechRis.com, and today we are going to cover something which is uh, really interesting and uh, really essential for an Android developer. Okay, so you see applications which are uh, very beautiful, which have a beautiful interface. Uh, and they are very fluid and you think that uh, how these applications are designed in Android Studio because when you deal with XML files you know the basic drag and drop in the XML builder of Android is not that good and you cannot create uh, you know complex uh, uh, you know stuff and complex things very easily you can but you have to invest a lot of uh, time and your uh, you know a lot of energy in order to do that okay so uh, so today we are going to uh, show you a thing that will make your life very easier in terms of designing and stuff. You can design uh, much more complex backgrounds, you know, add gradients uh, and uh, add, uh, you know, add backgrounds to the buttons, make your button look as you want, either a circle or a triangle, anything that you want, you know, uh, make your edit text look like uh, half translucent, completely transparent, whatever you feel like just with some uh, you know drag and drop things and just some designing and using your hands okay so for that we are you know there are a lot of tools available but uh, you know if you are on a Mac you can use sketch if you are on Windows uh, you have a certain solution which is uh, you know either you um, you know work with Inkscape or vector stuff like that but they are not really designed for designing applications uh, and you know designing application design uh, or designing user interfaces more they are like uh, you know if you use hello you know Adobe Illustrator you can use that but uh, that's not very beginner friendly and uh, um, you know many of you might not be able to use it properly so you know we have uh, an application designing specific application uh, which is from Adobe it's known as experience design or XD you must have heard uh, about it on the YouTube and internet uh, or you may have read or you know so we are going to use that and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can create stunning layouts for your application so let's get started so firstly we'll be needing Adobe XD obviously so I'm here at uh, www.adobe.com dash uh, whatever your country code is products and uh, xd.html that is the official page for Adobe XD okay so why I'm telling you to use uh, Adobe XD instead of just uh, the XML editor which is offered in Android Studio see uh, the basic editor which is offered in Android Studio is just you know it's just for the basic designing of the application you know just to put a button and stuff you can't really create complex design in that editor if you can you have to invest a lot and a lot of time and your energy in doing so so what this application does is it just takes all your energy and time and saves it and so you can invest uh, that time in cleaning your, uh, cleaning your code and uh, you know adding more features to your application instead of focusing on design 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 and uh, you know side by side making a very stunning design for your application because designing these days is very essential because there's a lot of competition in the market and if you want to stand out you should have a really unique design in your application because uh, you know if not then all the application will look the same and then there's no point the people will download your application if you don't offer any additional functionality okay so why we we are going to use Adobe XD so yes it is very feature-ish uh, you know it is very feature rich and it is specially made for application designing uh, and uh, and the main thing that you can prototype in it that uh, you know what that means it's you can uh, see how your application performs uh, in a real device so you can add click listeners you can you know um, you can add functions like when you click this column other activity opens and stuff like that that you do in uh, Android Studio or basically you can't in Android Studio unless you make it on the real device and write the Java code here you don't have to write anything it's just drag uh, the art boards together and uh, you know connect them and specify your connections and that's it 
that's it now on the push of a button you can prototype your application anywhere and that is available on the play store and the app store as well so that's really handy and the next big thing is yes the plugins the ui kit yes so now adobe xd comes with a wide variety of plugins there is dribble there is slack there is jira microsoft teams yeah you have dropbox and what not and you can uh, have the ui kits that is the material design for google you can also develop for ios application and get the design kit from uh, you know apple and stuff like that because the like uh, the navigation bar you are not going to create a navigation bar from the scratch you have the ui kit you can just copy and paste the that navigation bar or the action bar on your application and look how it looks like you have every other icon uh, you know if you want to have uh, the entire material icon library in uh, Adobe XD you can check our blog there you can find a button and you can directly download it okay now the next thing is the assets and the app on any platform yes so the start of your design scratch or being uh, you know bring the files from the Photoshop illustrator uh, uh, illustrator now what's another thing is uh, you can bring your assets from any other thing like after effects adobe uh, illustrator photoshop even sketch okay you can just directly open that and export your design after effects to add the advanced animation you can also create your own uh, you know animation uh, adobe offers a wide range of animation by default but you can create your own complex animation in adobe after effects that is completely open so why we are going to use adobe xd yes it's the main big thing because adobe uh, you know adobe makes a wide range of products that you can utilize uh, you know with this application uh, yes it's voice prototyping now you can uh, prototype your application with voice commands you can uh, uh, really you know uh, type a command and when you say that command the application will do a thing in the prototype okay now the plugin integration responsive sizing that's that's you know just a never ending list of feature that adobe xd uh, offers okay we have auto animate as well so for getting that and and the biggest thing is that it xd is free it's entirely free there is no uh, you know um free trial or something like that it's entirely free you can use it as much as you want until now okay uh, so up till now you can use it uh, as much as you want i don't know about future they might uh, you know make it paid up uh, but as of today it's completely free you can use it but uh, if you want to have the entire font library and the cloud storage thing you have to pay a certain amount if uh, if you have the entire app bundle you can use uh, you you can of course utilize it and sync your fonts and if you want to buy one application you can do it so so just click on get xd for free and it will download the creative cloud application on your computer and via that creative cloud application you can download adobe xd as well so now you must be asking what is creative cloud creative cloud is just another hub for all the adobe application because uh, adobe makes uh, you know extensive amount of softwares that uh, you know that needs to be updated uh, you know time to time and uh, to make that updation and uh, the syncing of the fonts uh, in the uh, in your entire library of apps uh, seamless so adobe offers a creative cloud application so uh, i'll just show you how this uh, how it looks like so that is how your creative cloud application will look like when you open it instead of open it will uh, be install you know written here install so you can just click on install and it will install on your computer there's no other thing that you have to do so i recommend that you side by side you should also install adobe uh, illustrator that will help you a bit the things that you can't do it xd you can do it in illustrator and you will be needing illustrator very often uh, but we'll work with xd more okay so i'll just open that and give you a brief outlook how it looks like and then we'll create uh, an application okay so this is how it looks like you might not have that recent files okay so that should be entirely blank blank when it uh, uh, when you open it for the first time okay you can have the tutorials here you can entirely free now what we are going to do is if you are designing for android just uh, select this drop down if you are designing for uh, you know apple devices here you go 
the iPad, the range is giving, and uh, if you are designing for the Surface, uh, which is Microsoft Surface Pro, and then you can have these two, and then you can also have the Android tablet. So the phone section is here, the tablet section is here, the web section is here, and then you can have your custom size art boards. Okay, so these are art boards. So what are they for? They just provide a base that is uh, you, uh, your design should be of this and this dimension and that's it now we are going to select android mobile as we are uh, you know going to design for android okay so here it, how it looks like it's just a artboard uh, which ha uh, you know which has a width of 360 pixels and a height of 640 pixels okay so now that we have it you can have any other thing okay so i'll show you what does prototype mean okay it's just a basic tutorial okay so i'll just add a button which will look like this not really is anything fancy but uh, just to show you guys okay so let me you know just uh, do not have that border and have some translucent okay some op i'll just re uh, reduce the opacity and add a little bit of shadow and that's looking good okay so i'm gonna have a text that is launch uh, oops launch uh, the other one okay so launch the other one you can okay so what i was saying that uh, adobe is entirely f you know xd is entirely free but if you want to have more fonts you have to purchase uh, uh, the font library from the adobe fonts which was previously typekit but it's renamed as adobe font now and it's completely re uh, redesigned so you can have that or uh, you can have 20 uh, sync fonts which are uh, not paid which are free from the Adobe uh, type kit you can go and uh, research it yourself okay so launch the other one I'm just picking up randomly okay so let's create an artboard let's just duplicate it okay so let's just change the text so we know that uh, we have uh, launched uh, the other one okay so that is it you can see you get some lines that you are in the center okay you are good to go now what is prototyping now this is my application now i have to test that how my application looks like on a real device so i'll just go to prototype and uh, this is the first screen that you will get and you can click got it and what you will do is just click on this button and create a connection with this activity okay you can always create this activity uh, if you want you can also connect these buttons as well okay so there's a shortcut which is alt plus enter you might remember it or you can just press this uh, okay now you can add animation you can add destination yeah you can add easing and stuff like that duration and whatever you want i'm going to have the auto animate function okay so let's play it now let's see that's uh you know that might not look very impressive because i haven't developed anything you know i haven't designed anything but it's just like okay fine okay so this is the basic introduction of xd so i'm going to meet you in the next video where we'll be designing um a certain layout i will decide in that video but we are surely going to design a beautiful layout there live in front of you and uh, there's a surprise for you guys in the next video uh, i think you guys might like this series because you know it makes your life super easy and super fun and designing has you know you know designing is always beautiful if you have ideas in your mind it, uh, you know implementing them is very beautiful okay thank you guys for watching this video i hope you liked it if you liked it just hit the thumbs up button uh, subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so as soon as i upload this video you can uh, get the notification and collect your freebies remember they are limited in number so i might not be able to give it to everyone so make sure that you hit that bell icon before it runs out okay thank you guys signing out